Welcome to Engineering Scale Models, where the details live. I'm your host, Jason. Today, we are going to look at the build plan for the USS Alaska. I have not uh, pre pre planned this video. I want to show you exactly how I approach a build plan as I approach it. I flipped through the the book when I did the quick look and the unboxing in the in episode one of season one. When I announced it, I showed you some stuff. Right now, I have out uh, probably way too much details that I'm going to use, but I'm going to go to the side camera here and show you this. This is everything detail-wise that I have laid out, minus one thing that I'll get to at the end. So, there's a bunch of different stuff. I'll go over all this stuff, and then we'll go through the book, and we'll, we'll develop a game plan of how we're going to do this. Uh, some of the stuff I've already worked on in a different video, and it'll be rolled into this, but other things will be done separately and all that stuff. So, let's see what we have here. If I go to... Oh, I'm going to have to move just a smidge of this to get the camera free. Um, actually, I can point to it from here. So, over here is the wooden deck from Affinity Models. We have the barrels... We have the mass set, we have um, some deck winches, we have a radar set, all from a Finney model. We also have some 20 millimeter Orlikins. I have more packs, these I just got out one pack, also from a Finney model. And then we have from a Finney some quad mount bolfers and some doors. From master models, I have some 20 millimeter Orlikins that I want to try to see which one I like best. I'm going to have you guys vote on it. I'm also going to try to use one from Alliance Model Works, but they tend to be tend to be a pain. Then I have over here from Master uh, some, some barrels for the 5-inch 38s, just in case I need barrels for that. But I may have an option. I have some Pontos, extra details from a Pontos kit that is just basically left for scrap and went another way. I have the photo etch for the actual kit here. And then I have a bunch of photo etch from my extras from different kits that I have acquired. Uh, a lot of times you can find incomplete kits on eBay for just just insanely cheap prices. And I have a United States Navy binder with all the stuff. And I basically pulled out what I think would be relevant. I pulled out way too much stuff. And I also have some more Alliance Model Works stuff over here also. So let's take a look in more detail of what we have here. So this is probably my favorite item of all from here that I've gotten. This is from a 1/350th scale Missouri upgrade kit from Pontos, from Pontos, and in that kit is highly detailed 5-inch 38s the most detailed I've seen in an upgrade kit it from, from my knowledge it only comes in the advanced kit and this is an add-on that is only in the advanced kit um, I was able to get a set of these not associated with the Missouri kit so I have the set it's the 10 resin guns the 20 barrels and then this entire strip of PE is the details for these guns and I also have gotten some screws for the the Alaska so hope these are correct I have to do some more detail research but I'm hoping these are correct they I, I got them they were labeled Alaska so I'm not sure they may be a little big I'm not sure I want to check that out but that's the stuff from that and then like I said we have the two different Orlikins here one from master model they both have full brass round barrels and stands which I think is a plus for these I don't like the folded photo etch look if you've seen my Instagram I posted some pictures of a folded Eddard Orlikin and it looks alright but I think these multi-piece with the barrels will look nicer on the Alaska now I know you're probably asking why add all this stuff to it well, I think it's gonna it's gonna increase the detail. They didn't make a kit for the Alaska. Affinity Model Works made one. It was 
on eBay upwards around $300 and for what I got the little upgrades I have here and the scrap stuff I think I can do a better job for less for less of a price like the five inch guns here these were extra they didn't cost me anything so so it's just I just need to change the setting on the camera here Okay, hold on one second, guys. That helped lighten things up. So that's the five inch, and then I have a bunch of different doors and hatches from Alliance Model Works and Affinity Models, some watertight doors. I don't know which ones I'm going to use. I also have. I bought a incomplete set of New Jersey uh, photo etch, and from what I can tell, the doors are the same. Um, these aren't the upgraded doors, so I have some from the New Jersey. I also have one sheet of the Indianapolis, which has some doors on it. So, and you know, there's some railings and some ladders, some stairwells, and then on the other side is some more railings, stairwells, hatches, things like that. So. I think that these will come in handy. I'm not going to just use bits and pieces off of here. This is just a photo sheet that I stick it to so I can put it in my binder and sort it separately. This is from the incomplete set of Missouri stuff I got sent by Hobbyways. Uh, it's just basically just random sheets of photo etch. They have different things on there, ladders railings stairs um, this was interesting it has uh, these wall panels I think this is I'm not sure what this kits for it's for Missouri so but some of these details may be able to be used and squeezed into the Alaska if they're appropriate and we'll check that out um, also down here is more doors the doors and hatches is mainly what I'm looking to snag off these sprues and also these 40 millimeter ammo rings they may fit in the the mounts and things like that and then I'm not sure little canister containers and stuff that could go on the deck and things like that so that's that and then also I have a random bag of brass pieces that just I've collected just a random bag of brass pieces that I may need for whatever and then we can't forget that the ship itself comes with photo etch. If I find better photo etch, I will use that. But this doesn't look bad. It's very spaced on here. Um, it looks like a lot of this is for the Orlikins with the plastic, so a lot of that won't get used. It'll get put in the, the, the extras bin like I have with the other stuff. So I don't know how much of this is going to be used. It might use a piece here and there, some stairs and things like that. But And then over here I have a went deck winches for um, the fast battleships, which is the battle cruiser from what I'm told. I'll check the authenticity of that before I put it on. But it's out here as an option. Not all this will be used. These are just the options that I have that I grabbed. Um, this is a World War II radar set. It has all these different radars, so I can put on which one that I need for the Alaska. And then, of course, we have the wooden deck detail with different pieces and things like that. Here's the wooden deck and the instructions. Not too much going on there. And then the barrels. So I believe these are 12-inch barrels. Yeah, 12 um, and the blast bags, so get the blast bags for those. And then this is a mass set, so this is the mass. So it's got some brass pieces here, and then it's got two sheets of photo etch. One looks like it may have a radar on there, so that's an option for us to use. Well, we're going to use that for sure. So a lot of this stuff's optional, like the Orlikins. I don't know what I'm going to use. Um, I even have some Pontos, Pontos, um, Orlikins I can use and things like that and the last thing I want to talk about 
add-ons and stuff is the hull of the ship, how smooth it is. Um, yeah, it has this little belt of detail right here, but it's a little over-exaggerated, I think. It's a little thick. So what my plan is I have here in this pile that didn't fit on the table. This is 0.015 or 0.38 millimeter and 0.25 millimeter and 0.5 millimeter rod. And then I have sheets of 0.25 and 0.4 millimeter thick sheets that I can cut basically little little plates out of the plastic. These are too thick, but these thinner 0.1 plates and then place them on the the hull with these little with this teeny tiny uh, weld bead in between them and then sand it down so it looks it's kind of seamless but it still has the armor hull plating in there so that is an option of what I'm gonna do I got the plastic for it um, I, I have too much plastic for it I this one pack would be enough for it but I ordered a bigger pack thinking I would need more but it's also going to be done on all my battleships so that can all be cut up and used for that so now these are all my options so I take a look at first thing I do is I look at all the possible options that the ship has what kind of gun upgrades I can do uh, what kind of other photo etch stuff what photo etch does it come with you know what specific photo etch I got with it so I got it all laid out here and now I'm gonna go through the book so I'm gonna go through this book here and of course we got the sprue map and stuff like that and then now I'm gonna look at this here yeah that just there we go so basically Gluing the hull on and gluing the deck plate on, that probably can be done and then that'll give me a little more secure surface to work on the hull, work on the, the, the hull plating, but we also need to look at the instructions for the wood decking and see here. So here's the instructions for the wood decking here. So we have the breakwater that's going to be that's included, and then we have doors and hatches. We have the front anchor plate, things like that. So it doesn't look like we're removing any of the detail for the deck it doesn't look like any of the deck details being removed for this kit so that's always a bonus because it says remove in that color and I'm really not seeing any removing marks on here so so that's nice but I do want to talk about some stuff on the deck here these sections right here, if I can get and point to it so you can see it. These sections right here are where the um, bits are bollards, the little rope tying spots to the deck. I believe they're called bits. These are plastic on here in one piece and it's flat. And I have in my brass bag here, I have a bunch of brass bollards or bits, whatever you want to call them, that I would prefer to use. So yeah, they're right there. So I'm going to drill out for that and I'm gonna put the brass ones in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a piece of brass photo etch down, which is in I believe I have a piece of brass photo etch to put down to, to fill the hole and then put the brass bits, bollards, whatever they're called, in there all around the ship and do that. Also, I'm going to look into the shields around the 20s and then the 40, 40 millimeters in the back to replace those with full photo etch and any of these gun encampments here. I want to replace with photo etch if I have the option to do that. So that's going to be an option and that has to be done 
Um, if that if I need to remove this stuff, I have to do it before I put the decking on, and I have to make sure the deck is where it needs to be before I could add any of the top structure to it. So this will be the first thing I work on, and I want to make sure the hull is done, all the plating is done before I add the wooden deck, and then the rest of the photo etch detail on top. So, and then immediately after that, we flip it over and we add all this detail, the um, screws, and then this, and also some plates down here. Now, I don't know if I'm going to bring the hull plating under the ship here. I believe I'm just going to run it along the sides to where it would be seated. I don't think, and then, you know, down here across the, the torpedo defense system and then down here like this I don't believe I'm gonna extend it to underneath the hull because it's gonna be on the stand and you're not really gonna see it so that's how I'm gonna work with that so I'll get all this on there and then that'll be not a problem there and then here it comes with the adding of the deck detail so these are those uh, bollard bit pieces here that I'm going to replace with photo etch and I may even possibly be able to replace these pieces here with photo etch also. So I'm going to go through as I put all these pieces I'm going to check to see if I have a photo etch piece to replace it with. So and if not you know the plastic part will be fine but it, it's all good. So and then here is some reels which I definitely have photo etch and then here are the deck winches that I have the photo etch kits for that is going to be this section um, seven reels I may have photo etch reels for that in resin but I definitely have the two winches so they're going to be made from the affinity kit uh, mushroom caps I don't have any photo etch for that so all this will be plastic and probably before in between doing all this extra work on all these sections I'll start building the 5 inch 38 guns getting those done and start the Orlikans and the 40 millimeter quad mount bolfers in between so I can have them ready to be put on when when necessary so yeah, there's not a lot of PE that comes with the kit there is some so I haven't even seen any going on yet and just more deck detail um, when we get to so yeah here's some PE going in the front and things like that so different containers and boxes and then here's some containers that go in front of the breakwater but that gets replaced with photo etch and all this stuff has to go on the deck of the wooden deck so the location holes are going to be in the deck and not on the plastic as much. Now, when we get to the superstructures here, all these portholes I'm going to drill out. All these doors are going to get taken off and replaced. So, wherever possible. Um, some of this wiring detail, depending on how it looks. If I don't like the look of it. Wow, that's really washed out. If I don't like the look of it, I will take it off and replace it with some lead wire, depending on how I how I want it to look. So, and then again, same deal with all the superstructure, and then ladders and railings. I will add accordingly. If there's ladders and railings molded on, I will take those off and add the the photo etch from a kit. Now here's the radars. Some of these are in PE, PE, and then my radar kit may be more detailed, and I'll use that instead so and then we have the funnel there's detail missing from the funnel and when I get to that I'll show you what it's missing and I actually have uh, parts to make it correct it's not that far off it's just missing a couple things so and then more of the islands superstructure so there's two of those so here's it actually going on the ship and then more gun embankments campments and then now we're placing the quad mount 40s so like I said they'll all be built up pr during the process of building all this 
when you have this much photo etch, especially um, Orlikins and 40s and things like that, you you do one here, one there. You don't want to burn out doing how many is it? 14 of them. That's a lot to you. You get burned out if you try to do 14 in one sitting. I actually have a video up of part one of actually building one of these from Affinity Models. It was tough to it was tough to film, but yeah, all the all the directions are there in the build. So in part two will be out probably after this, if not before. Then we have the crane. Uh, might add some detail to that based on what I have. And then we have the main guns, which get the the barrels, and I will add the PE detail. And I think I even have some resin upgraded detail for some of these main guns, like the directors and things like that. And then we put it on the stand and add the rest of the railing and the aircraft. And I even have some PE detail for the aircraft that I haven't brought out. I didn't bring that out, but that's okay. So I don't want this to be extremely long or mundane, so I'm going to call it here. You basically saw what I had to work with. It's it's a table full of stuff. So I will be I will organize it all and I will flip I will put it and I will be able to flip through it as I go through the book and put this together. I'll probably be skipping steps, work on the hull a little bit, work on a superstructure, work on the guns and things like that, just to just to not keep it so drawn out and mundane to keep it because you don't want to see twenty videos in a row of me building 40 millimeter bulfers, which is almost impossible to film anyways. So here's the links to social media. You can follow me on social media. It's the best way to keep up with what's on the bench and also entering the giveaways. So you can comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff to enter giveaways. And if you so desire, you can support me on Patreon page. I'm trying to generate enough to offset some of the software purchases I have so I can do more things on the channel do better editing and do uh, higher end photography of all the parts and put together better instructions and make little manuals and things like that but I need to offset some cost of some software so if you want to support me on there it would be greatly appreciated if not that's okay too you can visit it I post pictures and things on there some mini manuals and things like that are going to be going up but that's going to do it for this video for engineering scale models. I'm 